Hey there, peoples. Do the Dutch here. So, well, no more uh, League of Legends for the moment. So, I decided to go scare myself the crap out. And I was thinking to myself, what better game to do that with than with Dead Space Free. So, here you are. So, yeah, and a lot of people do it. Expect it. And I thought it's time for a little bit more amusement. But instead of my annual crappy humor of myself, but I thought, why don't we go do Dead Space Free so you guys can... Laugh your asses off as I scare, so I can, can go, well, crap my pants while I get scared to hell. So I've mostly done all the settings, just let's check extra. So the menu, if you ask me, is a bit weird, doesn't really need to. Progress, and on progress. Well, that's of course none, since I don't have it. Do mention that since I actually got it a little... That I actually, well, started a bit... Since I bought the game before 13th of February, I've got a few extra things, including also because I played Mass Effect 3, I have the, well, extremely useful N7 suit. Not very necessary. So let's first watch this. See, let's get a recap on the other two games. I've never played them, I've watched them, and well, it gets crap out of me even if I wasn't playing. So, to do it very dramatically, previously on Dead Space. It all started 300 years ago, with the discovery of the Black Marker, an alien artifact found under the old Gulf of Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy, until it catch dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. Lovely. Looking forward. The details of the original Black Marker disaster were buried in cover-ups and conspiracies. Dum 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 not dum. Not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. His questionable death turned him into a martyr, and Unitology was born. Great religion, lovely. To this day, it thrives. A secretive organization that believes the markers are divine. Yeah, sure. And <laughs> Whatever. For us a glorious unity of mind, body, and spirit. Yeah. <laughs> turned out that turned out Generations well. Generations after the black market disaster, mankind found himself going extinct from lack of resources. Well, what the show here is going to happen a lot sooner at he this case at this point. The black marker in an attempt to harness its limitless energies for himself. The records mm -hmm. of this era are unclear. But we now know the replication was successful. The red marker. But the cost too high. Fortunately, same effect the again. Copies were all There's a surprise. Hidden in secret places across the universe where, to all our benefit, they might have stayed. Hmm. But they didn't. But 200 years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies, a red marker. If something's red, it's never good. The start of a new wave of marker infections. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer named Isaac Clark. Our protagonist. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift, a mental blueprint of the marker itself. So he's got a tattoo stuck in his brain, and apparently it's a Isaac good thing about getting a needle in your eye. By his mind harvested for the marker's secrets. The marker program was thus restarted, and a new one built on the populous Titan's... That's a big one. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to escape, but just barely. With his new girlfriend. nothing left but dust, just like Aegis 7. Yeah, Clark's got a reputation for blowing crap Since up. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clark, his marker touch mind still burning with the ability in his to build awesome and destroy them, jacket, in hiding, determined to retreat from the markers and all they have wrought. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet, where 200 years ago, someone somehow stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future. Yay! We're all saved! At least we hope we are, right? What could... In the immortal worlds, what could possibly... In the immortal worlds, what am I... In the immortal words, what could possibly go wrong? So, yeah, it's just gonna be me. I wish I had a co-op partner, but... I don't, so 
Without further ado, let's go scare ourselves and let's go shit our pants. Yeah, normal, hard, impossible. I say we go for normal. Don't have any experience in the Dead Space series. So I think this is the best choice we can do. So uh, let's go uh, kill some things, I guess. I don't know what exactly these things. I mean, I'm guessing it's... I guess it's got something to do with the effectiveness of weapons. Ah, who cares? Again? It all started 300 years ago. I. The discovery of the but I'll just. An alien I'll probably uh, accelerate this quickly. Mexico on Earth. It seemed to hold the promise of limitless energy until it produced dementia, insanity, and a twisted life after death known as necromorphs. Yay! If that's your idea of what life after death is going to be, yeah, hey, count me out. Cover up some conspiracies, but not before an entire religion could be launched in the name of one of its researchers, Michael Altman. The dude over there, his with his great master, crystal ball. Was born. To this day, it thrives. A secretive organization that believes the markers are divine. <laughs> In what way is turning yourself into a freakish monster that will kill everything in existence a divine thing? Generations after the I think this proves what has been said for centuries. Religion is a bad thing. I am immediately disclaiming any form of spiritual enlightenment. In an attempt to harness In, well, uh, any suggestions of it. The records of this era are unclear. Yeah, because they covered it up. But the cost too high. Yay, more dead people and well, that. Just... The marker copies were all buried, hidden in secret places across the universe, where to With apparently iPods attached to them. But two hundred years later, during an illegal mining operation on Aegis 7, the planet cracker USG Ishimura unearthed one of the forgotten copies. A red marker. And with it, the start of a new wave of marker infections. Yay. A key survivor of that incident was an engineer. In his named awesome Isaac techno Clark. suit. That marker spoke to him and left him with a gift. It said, Hi oh, there, Isaac, how are you, you doing? Himself. And then it stuck a needle in his eye. Isaac was captured and tortured by Earthguard. His mind by putting the marker's secrets. Plates on his head? The marker program was thus restarted, and a new one built on the populous Titan Spore. Bacon. The disaster quickly followed. He managed to. So he shot everything to pieces, got a new girlfriend, and well, blew everything to hell. Sounds like a just usual like day for him. Since that time, the marker crisis has only deepened, and Isaac Clark. His marker touch mind still burning with the ability to build or destroy them stays in hiding. So, Determined start drinking. Markers and all they have wrought. You got a headache? Drink more. But there is hope. A backwater ice ball of a planet. Where 200 years ago, someone somehow stopped a marker uprising in its tracks. A clue from the past that may save our future. <gasps> and yet, it will all go wrong, as everything does. Here we go, finally. Press, aim and press spacebar, what? Electronic Arts presents... A Visceral Games production. Dead Space 3. With leads starring Do It a Dutch, also known as Shit in My Pants. June 18, 2014. Okay, that is not Isaac. Who is this? <laughs> what a doof is that? Is a key. This is Whiskey 250. Alpha Niner. This is Whiskey 250. Serrano, do you read me? Serrano? What? Oh, thank God. Did you find 
find it. Doc, I'm not even sure what we're looking for. Just uh, follow the waypoints I sent you. I, I can't tell you anymore. Just get there. Don't. Do you hear me? You have to get there. What? Oh, it's lost. What? Dang it. So, apparently, Star Wars is thrown into the mix. He's on Hoth, and the Empire has returned. So he puts on his awesome helmet. Oh, oh, we get to control this dude. Okay, okay, so we know how to aim. But apparently I have no ammo. This should be good. Okay, press and hold B. Okay, so I need to go that way. So I was completely going the wrong way. Yay. Great sense of direction. <laughs> I gotta admit, the game looks good, but... Where the hell am I going? I can't see shit! And I'm taking control of a geek. Also, that's another thing. I don't like it. Where's Isaac when you want him? He's got okay, the, he's the one with experience. You do this. Oh, he's dependent on you. You're a soldier, right? <laughs> right. Gun's not even loaded. <laughs> yeah, you're a terrific soldier. You don't even need bullets to kill them. You do it with monologuing. With motivational speeches. As any good soldier would do. Okay, well this helps. <laughs> it's a dead end. Or maybe not. <laughs> Dude, that lousiest sense of direction ever. Now where the hell am I going? <laughs> I really can't see shit. It's all snowflakes and more snow on the ground, okay. Okay, this helps. Now can I reload? Ooh. Oh no. That seems bad. Prologue beginnings. Tau Volantis. Hold shift to run. At least, yeah, that is shift. Okay. Ooh. I'm guessing this thing being here is a bad thing. Hey, Doc. I found it. You're good. Can you get inside? It's all sealed nope. up. Look around. There must be a way. So, we're on that, that planet that they mentioned with my awesome helmet on and my weird holographic spine <laughs> my weird gun so what the hell is this thing? <laughs> what the? it is not in the most secure position one little slide in <whistles> everything down there is toast okay I've seen the other games okay it's called the mule fancy name press space to stomp Corpses and containers. Oh, this is gonna be what? Stomp! Finally, some ammunition. So, A is pickup and R is manual reload. Stomp! Stomp! And more reload! So, do I shoot? Apparently so. And we reload. Open si Oh, holy! Holy shit, what the hell happened to this fucker? What the f What the f there it is. Get the fuck away from me! Shit! Die! Die! Fuck! Yeah! Fucking son of a bitch! They do not shit around, holy crap! You can start it no more, you can even scared crap scared out of me. Holy fuck. Ah. Damn, damn. Holy shit, he lost his head, but he's holy Okay, that seemed easy. Get the fuck! The hell? Oh, at least he's dead now. Oh what the fuck? Jesus! Ah! Get the fuck away from me, you son of a bitch! Just fucking die already! What the hell was that? Son of a bitch! Motherfucker!
Oh great, I'm already hearing chanting. Oh, this is going well. <laughs> okay, go up. Up. Oh boy, that doesn't sound good. Okay. Okay, something went into the vent. Because there should not be that much blood in a vent. You know what that means? I'm screwed. I'm toast. I'm dippy. This dude's not gonna live for long. Yes, open, please. Um... You dead? Are you dead, dude? Yeah, he's dead, but he's also bulletproof, apparently. Well, that involves death. Yeah, sure, I wanna be... I wanna be dead. If it means I'm bulletproof. Codex. So, what is this thing? Thank you. I got it. Doc, I got it. G G what the... Oh. Oh, no, no, no. oh great. Son of a bitch! Now what? Okay, so we go down. Son of a bitch! Jim, where are you? Hey, Doc, I'm hanging from a cliff. What I got, whatever this is. The codex, it, the key to saving everything. Meet me at the silo and don't stop for anyone. Get to the left. Jump, you idiot. Get fucking down! I do not want to die! I do not want to die! I do not want to die! Please, fucking please! Holy shit! Ouch! That burns! That burns! That is pretty cool! Fire burns, to be honest! Oh crap! Oh crap! Holy! Jeez! And then probably monsters! So, do I need to do something? I have no idea what the hell is going on. Son of a bitch! Jesus Christ. I got a bad hand. This dude isn't long for this world anymore. Okay, so I'm in bad shape. That's already indicated by my health bar. By my holographic spinal cord. Oh. Oh, shit. This is a bad thing. What the hell happened here? Dudes are hanging everywhere. Dead Fine dudes. young soldiers, every one of them. Who the hell is this dude? Sir. Mahad. Where's Dr. Serrano? Dead. Earl Serrano, always the optimist. Well, he said I should take this into the city. He said there's still time to stop it, sir. There's still time. We lost control! Now, for the love of Earth and the sovereign colonies, we've got to do what's right. Which is... You love the Earth, son. Your mom and dad. Yeah, sure. Uh... Yeah, yes, sir, of course. Good. Glad to hear that. I'm going to die. I had a feeling that was going to happen. To do it with a voice like that, you're going to die. Oh boy, deleting crap. Am I taking charge of this dude now? Apparently not. Oh. Okay, uh, the, sure, go ahead. First shoot one dude, then shoot yourself. That's one way of doing things. So, what's on that thing anyway? Great. Probably the only thing we had. Now it's gone. <laughs> 